Jerry Jones cares more about himself and his ego than he does about winning. That's the only reason why Mike McCarthy is back now in 2024. And so Cowboys fans, I'm sorry, but you're never winning a Super Bowl. And you are, I mean, you're never making even an NFC title game as long as Jerry is in control of the team. Because again, he just showed you with this move of bringing Mike McCarthy back, he cares more about himself and his ego and getting the attention than actually putting the right people in place that, to win and take attention away from Jerry. Like, I think Jerry would much rather have a repeat of 2023 where you win 12 games, people are talking about you in the regular season, and you have a first round exit, but all the attention's on Jerry Jones. I think he'd rather have that than the alternative of firing Mike McCarthy, bringing in a superstar of a head coach that actually knows what the hell they're doing, having success, going to the NFC title game, going to the Super Bowl, and winning the Super Bowl, but in doing so, in getting Dallas back for the first time in 30 years, taking attention away from Jerry, and instead having the spotlight be on the team, on the head coach, on the players. Jerry doesn't want that. It, he's basically a Kardashian. Right? He is the NFL equivalent of Kim Kardashian, where every single camera, every single spotlight has to be on Jerry, and everything that goes on with the Cowboys has to be, what's going on with Jerry? What is Jerry thinking? What is Jerry doing? Instead of the actual team. He sucks the oxygen out of every single room he's in to where no one else can breathe, which is why no superstar head coach would ever come to Dallas. And that's why Jerry Jones doesn't want a good head coach in Dallas. Like, look at the, the, the recent history here. Mike McCarthy back in 2024. Should he be? Absolutely not. Jason Garrett was, was there what felt like five years too long in Dallas. Why? Because those two head coaches are not threats to Jerry's ego and the intention Jerry gets. If Jerry was to actually do the right thing, fire Mike McCarthy and bring in Bill Belichick, bring in Jim Harbaugh, bring in Pete Carroll, bring in Mike Vrabel, all four of those coaches are stars in their own way, right? They would get the attention now going forward. Now it's, oh, well, what's Jim Harbaugh going to do in his return back to the NFL? It's not oh, what is Jerry going to do? Or how is, is Jerry going to get this team ready to play? It's all about Harbaugh, all about Belichick, all about Vrabel, all about Carroll. All the oxygen will be sucked away from Jerry and put, honestly, where it rightfully belongs on the coach and on the players. Jerry doesn't want that. Again, he'll tell you about winning. He'll preach, I want to win before I die so bad. Want to win another one. His actions, though, speak differently. That's why McCarthy is back. Because McCarthy is not a threat to Jerry's ego, to the attention Jerry gets. McCarthy is a yes man. Jason Garrett, yes man. Yes, Jerry. Anything you want, Jerry. Can I do anything else for you, Jerry? As you wish, Jerry. Belichick coming in there and saying, hey, Jerry, I'm calling the shots. Harbaugh's going in. I'm calling the shots. They don't work with others. And Jerry wants to win on his terms. And that's problematic because the Cowboys have showed you come playoff time, they're not built to win playoff games on Jerry's terms. They don't have the championship DNA you need in order to win a Super Bowl. They don't know how to get all that talent to collectively play up to that level when you're playing a good team or in the playoffs. It's why anytime the Dallas Cowboys play an elite team in the NFL in the regular season and come playoff time, they play a good team in the playoffs, they always choke. They always struggle because they don't know how to get the most out of their talent because they're not coached well whatsoever. It's on the players too. Don't get me wrong. The players deserve blame here, but it starts with coaching. And the coaching is poor because that's the way Jerry wants it. Because you get a good coach, they get the attention. You have a bad coach, Jerry gets the attention. And in Jerry's world, he's a salesman. Any attention, any publicity is good publicity. That's what Jerry wants. That's why we're not seeing Mike McCarthy get fired. And that's why I, I genuinely feel bad for Cowboys fans. You're being held hostage by your owner. Jerry Jones is using you, using your fandom, using the logo and the brand of the star, the national 
like represented franchise, right? The team that everybody knows, the most recognizable football brand we have in this country. He is using all of that attention and fanfare to feed his ego, using you for his gain. He is giving you nothing. He doesn't want to see you happy. He doesn't care. As long as his ego is stroked, as long as people are talking about him, Jerry is happy. He doesn't have to win, despite what he says. He, in his mind, does not have to win a Super Bowl before he dies in order to claim himself or think of himself to be successful. That's why we're seeing Mike McCarthy back in 2024. So Cowboys fans, I'm sorry. You're being held hostage and you are being used by your owner to fuel his ego. Nothing more. Nothing more. Because also, too, like, you had the news that came out that Mike McCarthy's back on Wednesday. You also had, of course, a lengthy statement by Mike Mc, uh, by Jerry Jones, excuse me, explaining why McCarthy is back. And this explanation is laughable. I want to read you just a few lines here. You tell me how believable this is from Jerry Jones on his reasoning as to why Double M is back in 2024. This is from Jones. Quote, I believe this team is very close and capable of of achieving our ultimate goals, and the best step forward for us will be with Mike McCarthy as our head coach. Certainly, Mike's career has demonstrated postseason success at a high level, and we have great confidence that can continue. Look, Mike McCarthy is a Super Bowl winning head coach. We cannot take that away from him. With that said, Mike McCarthy's recent postseason history has been anything but successful. Gives you zero reason to believe he's the coach to get the Cowboys to the promised land. Since winning the Super Bowl all the way back in 2010, Mike McCarthy's postseason record since then? Six and nine. Hmm. So Jerry says he has had a lot of postseason success and is the right guy to lead Dallas to achieve their ultimate goal. Yet you have a, a head coach who has a losing record in the playoffs since winning the Super Bowl Again, all the way back in 2010. And if you watch just in the Cowboys tenure for Mike McCarthy, you watch how the Cowboys play against good teams and in playoff games. The theme is the same every single time. The Cowboys are sloppy. They are unprepared. They look nervous. They play not to lose instead of playing to win. And they never play up to the talent level that says the Cowboys should play to. Every single time they play down, they have a bad game. The only time they reach their peak is when they play crappy teams. They have no problem hanging a 70 number on the Panthers. I know they didn't, but you get my point. They could if they would. They have no problem last year in the playoffs kicking the shit out of the 8-9 Buccaneers that had no business being in the playoffs. That's their only win in the Mike McCarthy era against a sub-500 Buccaneers team where Tom Brady had one foot out the door retirement-wise, and that team was an absolute mess. Every single time they have played a good to great team, they have floundered, they have turned the ball over, they have made mistakes, they have committed penalties, they have not played well offensively or defensively. Every single time. So Jerry, again, it's just... You know he's not serious about winning when even his explanations can't be backed up. If this was a press conference and people pointed out, uh, Jerry, you know Mike McCarthy's under 500 in the playoffs since the Super Bowl. Jerry, you see how bad this team plays in big spots. You don't think a coaching change would be, would be necessary or, or the team would benefit from a coaching change. Jerry wouldn't have a rebuttal. He'd talk in circles for three minutes and then you, you forget what the question is because you're down a rabbit hole of hey, sticking the what and the what and, and back in your day in the, in the 70s, what? Jerry's the master of being a distractor. Look over here to ignore this problem over there. But it all circles back to the same thing. Jerry needs his ego stroked. Jerry needs the attention on him. And Jerry would rather have the attention on him and lose than hire someone that would take attention away from him and win. It's as simple as that. That is why Mike McCarthy is back in 2024. Because Mike McCarthy is not a threat to Jerry's ego. He's not a threat to Jerry's attention. 
It's not because he can. he's the best coach for the job. You can't tell me Mike McCarthy is better than Bill Belichick, Mike Vrabel, Pete Carroll, Jim Harbaugh for starters in 2024. McCarthy's not back because he's the best man for the job. McCarthy's back because he doesn't take any attention away from Jerry. And Jerry doesn't care about postseason losses. He cares about relevancy and attention. He's a salesman more than he is an owner. He's a businessman more than he is wanting to win a Super Bowl. Don't buy Jerry's words. Look at Jerry's actions. McCarthy back. Jason Garrett there five years longer than he should have been. My uh, Jerry cares about attention more than winning. Simple as that. That's why Mike McCarthy is back in 2024. And that's why I feel bad for Cowboys fans. Because for all the passion you show, every you get your hopes up for whatever reason, they all come crashing down the same time every single year for the same reason. This team is not serious about winning a Super Bowl. It starts with your owner, Jerry Jones, because he cares more about his ego than he does winning. As long as Jerry's in control, cross the Cowboys off the Super Bowl contender list every single year. Don't take the bait next year if the Cowboys are 6-1. and one. I promise you, nothing is different. If you liked what you listened to, hopefully, subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening, check out and subscribe to the Hick at Night podcast, night spelled N-I-T-E. Leave your thoughts as well. I would love to hear your thoughts. We'll, we'll respond in the comments, especially on YouTube. Again, Ryan Hickey is the channel on the tube. Uh, subscribe and leave a comment below. Jerry, uh, Jerry Jones is bringing Mike McCarthy back in 2024. Do you think Jerry cares more about winning or more about his ego?